Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel like um, what I'm getting is that you can feel somebody approaching you with an apology. And you're like, well, they better bring the truth. I feel like in the past, um, this whoever this is, they stuck this knife in your back, I, or this sword. I feel like um, you gave them nothing but love. You know, I, I, I compare the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups, all right? And that's because um, you come from a very loving place, all right? I feel like you gave this person your love, good intentions, nurturing kindness, and they stabbed you in the back and left you there to bleed out on your own, pull this sword out that you're holding in your hand, okay? Um, I feel like you have control sort of of this situation, all right? Um, because of what this person did. And you've been sitting here now since then, healing from that backstabbing and betrayal. And you want the truth now, okay? You could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Whoever's coming towards you could possibly be a Pisces. Um, but yeah, I feel like if somebody comes towards you and you know they're coming because you're extremely intuitive, um... You, they better bring the truth, not a fake apology. I feel like that's what um, you're concerned with. You know, when this person comes towards you, are they going to be telling you the truth? Because honestly, you really don't need them. You don't need this person in your life anymore, and you're ready to cut out anybody who comes towards you fake. All right? If the apology, if the apology and sincerity in this cup is just a, a slimy little fish. You don't want to have anything to do with it. You're sitting in the Empress throne, okay? Um, you've taken control of your own life here, holding on to that wand. You could be um, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Ooh, and not only that, but I feel like you are also in Emperor energy. Yeah, you're... You really don't need um, this anybody who's fake, okay? Any fake apologies? No, no, no. That's um, you're not going to waste your time. You're not going to play any games. You've put your foot down. Um, I feel like you've healed from this betrayal. It's coming in, <laughs> dropped in right underneath the Queen of Swords. You've healed from this. Um, you're living a peaceful life. Because you've acquired both masculine and, and feminine energy here, empress and emperor energy, um, yeah, you've totally healed and become super strong. And you're just not going to play any games, collective. Uh, you're out here actually helping other people heal from the same kind of crap. Um, yeah, you're, I feel like you're mixing up a new soulmate connection here for you. A new beginning because this person whoever this is they were giving to other people not only did they betray you but they they left you sitting here empty-handed no clarity no explanation no sincere apology right while they gave to other people and breadcrumbed you and I feel like um, right now you're manifesting a new soulmate connection here and having patience that the divine is going to bring you, you know, uh, somebody who's going to be worthy of you. I mean, the empress and the emperor, this is the energy that you have right now, just totally taking control over your life like you're like a boss, a beast, okay? And you're... You're done with with immaturity. You're done with fakeness, collective. Um, you're done with people who keep you, like, breadcrumb you, keep you sitting here empty-handed while they give to somebody else. Uh, yeah, you're not having it. I feel like this really is, um, like, the beginning of a, of a brand new, beautiful beginning, right? That's really, really what I'm feeling like here. Clarify this page of wands. What is this page of wands doing here for the collective? Yeah, this person, whoever this is, 
um, they realize how immature they were. Uh, see, they could have had this new beginning with you. You're gonna, you're gonna rock the world with your plans and your drive um, and your effort. This here is somebody who can build an empire all on their own, and you're going for it. You're going for it, collective. And this person is now they're in regret. Whoever did this to you is in a lot of regret. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius. And I'm really getting the feeling like um, they're doing a lot of thinking, okay? Really all up in their head, realizing now how immature they really were. They weren't serious about you at the time. Maybe at the time they weren't ready, or I feel like they were entertaining somebody else. And they, they um, impulsively came to you. Uh, I feel like they, they could have schmoozed you, used you, okay? Now they're looking at this like they want a new beginning with you. Um, they want to come and apologize, but I don't think, I don't know if you're even going to listen. And I feel like you don't trust this person already because they've proven themselves to be somebody who can't, it's like this is somebody who's in and out. They're not serious. Um, they're immature. They can't make a decision, that kind of thing. And they don't want to. They just play around and do whatever they want willy-nilly, not thinking of the consequences, and they ended up turning their back on this soulmate connection between you, okay? Um, and now you're just so strong. Like, your energy, seriously, you're like... I mean, you're, you're like a beast. I keep wanting to say like a beast. You're going for new beginnings in your life. Like, um, you, you just don't want to be stopped. I don't know. This person, they're going up somebody extremely strong. And, man, you want the truth. Um, yeah, you want the truth. They know, though, that they need to clear everything up. They know that they could have been happy with you, too. You know, the sun card is the happiest card in the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, or you could be a Leo. Yeah, but this is over. Their happiness is coming to an end. Their chance with you is coming to an end. It's like they want to take action, but they're totally stuck. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, they could totally see you as their match. They want to come forward, but they're stuck. I feel like this person could even still be giving to someone else. They feel like they can't approach you. Um, how do they go up against the Queen of Swords and this duality of the Emperor and the Empress? I mean... Yeah, I feel like this person really doesn't want to confront you. So they stand here. It's like they want it, They want you, you know, with a passion. This person has a lot of passion, and they want a new beginning. But they're afraid to confront, okay? They're afraid to confront all of the things that they've done in the past. Tower moment. Yeah, they're, this person's losing their wish fulfillment. They could be doing a lot of drinking, too, at this time, just to try to numb themselves. Um, yeah, I feel like you're, yeah, you're moving forward, collective. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. You're moving forward, and you know in your future you have a new soulmate connection coming to you. Somebody who's going to reach out to you. Somebody who's going to choose you. Um, and, you know, you're happy. It's like you're, you're leaving things behind, letting go, releasing, and, and inviting in this new love. This was on the bottom of the deck. Um, this person over here, I, you know, I feel like they, they may even be talking about you behind your back. Um or they have in the past, in and out energy, just lies, deceit, betrayal. Yeah, I feel like now they're on the defense. 
feeling very defensive, guarded, can't think of a good plan to come in, um, planning, plotting, strategizing, but this is their karmic justice. This person is just, all they're able to do is watch you get away and get new love. Could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, the, all they can do is watch you get away and get new love knowing the whole time that you're the one that they want. And they don't know how to reach out to you because your energy is intimidating. But it's, it's because of all the crappy things they've done to you in the past. You know, like I said, you were once loving to this person. It's the betrayal that's got you in this energy. Um, and it's, it's only because you've grown, you've healed, and you know you don't need them anymore. Some of you could be um, uh, manifesting an emperor in your life. I feel like this is your energy because you've been through it and because you refuse to go through it again. <laughs> Okay, this is somebody who is looking forward to brighter days, going after their happiness. That's where you are right now. Um, and, you know, you, this took a lot of effort, a lot of time to reach the Empress throne. Okay, um, so you've been putting all that effort into you. And this person, I feel like all they've been doing is giving to someone else, breadcrumbing you and... You know, sitting on this basically to the point where at least they're learning here. This is somebody who's thinking about their immaturity in the past. All right. This is someone who's going in depth thinking about it. Right. Um, and uh, they're very emotional here as well because nothing is working out for them. Whatever they chose over you, it's definitely not working out. And they're regretting their choices here because they ended up with nothing, pretty much. Turning their back on the real deal for something that, that was only blood and sand. And now they're feeling out in the cold. Okay, they're feeling out in the cold. And here you are. Look at this. Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Um, you're all kinds of happy and strong, like strength, a big time strength at the two corners here. Um, and yeah, you're on top of the wheel, ready to turn the page and start a new chapter, inviting in, bringing in new love, drawing it to you. Um, you know, you're attracting new love in this strong energy here. And uh, you're, you're headed straight for your Ten of Cups. You're headed straight for it. <laughs> but it's true. You are. The wheel is turning and, um, and you're moving forward. This is the end of a cycle for this person. And uh, they're at the bottom of the wheel feeling all kinds of stuck because they've been sneaky like this fox. And you're at the top of the wheel because of all the lessons you've learned, your knowledge, your integrity, um, moving forward, the decisions you've made, right? It's choices, guys. You've made the right choices. They've made the wrong choices. And this is how it ends up. This is what you get for the right choices. Okay, a ten of cups. This is ultimate wish fulfillment kind of life. And, uh, and they get to dream about that wish fulfillment kind of life. The nine of cups. They almost had it. They almost had it. But, uh, you know, they decided to pass by that chance. That chance at a blessing in love. You know, I mean, it's it's a series of choices, right? And when all of this happened to you, when you were backstabbed and betrayed, you didn't go and get any revenge, right? You stood in your integrity, you stood in your truth, and you worked on you. And it's been so long that you've been working on you, you decided to also adopt the energy of the emperor because this person didn't show up for you. So now, I mean, you are, you're very strong. Um, and now you don't need them anymore. And they know it. They, had, they were this close. One cup away. One cup away from getting ultimate wish fulfillment here. And now they want to come forward with that cup. But see, it's going to be the only cup there with a the fish in it. No, it's not acceptable. 
If they're coming forward with a fake apology and they're still giving to others and, and they've been a coward and they don't want to confront all the things that they did to you, they're going to lose out and they're going to be left out in the cold. They almost had it. Seriously. <sighs> yeah, they almost had it. And that's, that's their karma. That's the scales being balanced, okay? Um, what else can you show me here for the person watching? My beautiful collective. Yeah, you guys are, you're moving forward. You're, you know, let's just talk about the chariot. You could be a cancer. Um, the chariot, like I said before, um, this is coming off of a battle. You had to heal all on your own. I feel like you were divinely led. Uh, I always feel like the chariot is divinely led, okay? Um, but man, that took a lot of effort, a lot of time. And this is somebody here who also is fairly guarded, but you're a freaking warrior. You're a warrior here with the queen of wands. You're a warrior here with the chariot, okay? And what you're doing in moving forward after sitting here waiting for the truth from this person, that's difficult in, on its own. I feel like um, you're a warrior twice over, collective. Very strong. And this person over here is a fool as you take and you're, you're getting this new beginning. They want one too, but... They, uh, they're, they're going to end up just carrying these burdens. They're having a very difficult ending to a cycle here. Very difficult. They could be having some money issues because they've given everything to whoever else is sitting here that they're given to. Um, they could be over drinking because they sat here and hid how they felt about everything. They're, they could be isolating themselves right now with this card here um hiding trying to their best to hide how they feel but it's all all these emotions are coming to the surface for this person because they know that you're leaving and they know that you're destined for for a, a true love and it's going to lead to ultimate wish fulfillment the the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor so you guys could be extremely abundant right now especially when you're sitting in emperor and empress throne I feel like you don't have a problem with your stability. And, um, yeah, this person, the only way they can come back in is with a sincere apology and um, a sincere apology and to talk about all that, they, all that they did to you in the past, right? Take accountability. But even then, in emperor and empress mode, this is you and your energy. Uh, there's a good chance that you still may cut them out of your world. Because I really do feel like you're moving forward. You're determined. This is like determination and drive. Okay? Um, to find, you know, to find and get your Ten of Cups. Which is definitely in your destiny, I feel. With the King of Pentacles out here, yeah. As we were talking about... Um, how abundant you are. I feel like this could be your energy in the King of Pentacles throne too, just holding it down, man. Um, very financially stable. Clarify this King of Pentacles. Or you could be dealing with um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got Virgo out here, Aries, Libra, Pisces. Clarify this King of Pentacles. Unless I was totally right. <laughs> this is your energy. Um, man, you're just, you're taking on so much masculine energy right now. Just powering through, um, getting over this and leaving things behind and starting that new cycle. Um you could be a, totally be a boss, business owner, entrepreneur, um, holding down your finances, holding down your throne, moving forward. I mean, this is crazy good energy for you. 
Your person, not so much. They're not doing so good collective. They're not. Yeah, I feel like um, if this is your person, you know, they worked really hard for something and they're losing it all. Okay? They're losing it. Yeah. Yeah, because they, you know, they couldn't make a decision. And not, and you're not talking to them. I kind of feel like this is this King of Pentacles energy is yours. This person's losing a lot, and they may feel like no matter how much effort they put into this, they're still you're still gonna cut them out. Like you're not budging really. They they need to actually make a decision, choose, make a, a definitive choice, right? Um, and take accountability. For the things they've done in the past in a very real sincere way um yeah sorry about that you guys my battery died um here on the bottom of the deck yeah you may actually cut them out anyway because i feel like you're just you're tired of games you're tired of sitting around waiting who's got time for that right that's what the queen of wands is like who's got time for this you know, you're building empires here. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you're you not going to waste any more time or play any more games. Yeah, look, building empires here. You're, you're wanting somebody who um, is able to commit to something, okay, who is able to make a decision and, and um, stand their ground on it like you do. <sighs> You know, if you're you're adopting the emperor energy here along with the empress energy, when you make a decision, you freaking mean it. Okay? You can you have the ability to at least decide what you want. That's what you're doing here with the queen of wands. So, you know, that's what you are wanting out of a out of a soulmate connection. And if somebody isn't going to, you know, find the strength to at least decide what they want and talk to you and make things right the right way, um, they can, I feel like they can't come back in. You want the real deal. And I feel like you're going to find it. This is what you're building anyway. You're building the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay? It's a time for you to celebrate, I feel. Um, there could be gossip going on, but I'm kind of getting the feeling like this is a time of celebration. You found your emperor for now. It's you. You've taken charge of the situation here. And I feel like with the swords out here, um, you've made a decision. You're, this person very well could be, they could get cut out of your life for whoever I'm watching. Yeah, I feel like the divine is kind of telling this person to do their work, right? Learn their lessons and put forth the effort. That's what everybody has been told to do, is to do their, their work, you know? Um, clear the karma and do your, you know, work on your inner child. Any problems that you've had in the past, anything that no longer serves you, let go of. Um, figure out what you're doing wrong and try to fix it, okay? Th this person, they're being told to do their work. Um, they haven't even really started it yet. I feel like they have been thinking about this. They're at least starting to learn, but they're not putting forth any effort into anything. They're just still kind of like standing here, afraid to confront, Afraid to confront. And if they don't pick that wand up and confront everything that they did wrong, what's going to happen? The ten of wands. They're going to have to walk away carrying these burdens. Right? Nobody wants them to carry the burdens forever. Nobody wants anybody to go through their life like that. So this, it, the, that's the divine is trying to say, look, we need you to do your work so you can release the reasons why you can't make a decision, the reasons why you don't want to confront what you've done, the reasons why you did what you did. If you don't correct that and be able to release it, forgive yourself and move forward, they're going to suffer this for, for the rest of their days. They're going to be burdened by this. It, it'll follow them. 
So that's why the divine is trying to get everybody to do their work. So you can release that negativity. So you can be lighter and be able to move forward. I feel like that's what you're doing, collective. You're just determined, okay? You've had enough. You've had enough. And you're strong enough now to where you don't need this drama and this situation. You're now looking forward to the real deal. Somebody who has done their work. That's who's going to get the chance with you. You know, because that's what you are ready for at this stage. Okay? Whew. Um, let's see what this person has to say to you, though. I kind of feel like, yeah, they're sort of being kept away from you, too. This I can see this is spiritual jail. Look on the bottom of the deck. I need you in my life. Um... This person could probably learn a lot from you as well. But, um, yeah, the, um, I feel like the divine is keeping them held back from you so that, you know, until they do do some of this work. Okay? They can't come forward to you not being serious, not making a decision, having a, having a fish in this apology that, no, mm-mm. You won't allow it, and neither will the divine. Um, I feel bad how I left things between us after all that we have shared. Yeah, they are feeling bad. They're in a lot of regret. They should have handled di things differently. They had a long time to come in and give you a proper apology and try to fix this, right? And they didn't do anything at all. Some of these people have just been downright cowardly, okay? And they need to take a stand for themselves the way you have. Please come back. I made a mistake. I don't, I, I think that um, this person knows they made, they totally screwed up, okay? They did. They know that. But I feel like right now the timing is wrong because they still have to put forth some effort into this. They can't, they can't just, have you coming back to them, they need to take accountability and do their work. You know, don't believe what, you're, what you see or hear because I'm not okay. What's this one? I've been miserable without you. So I feel like um, you could be seeing them posting things on the internet or see them out and about and they, they try to appear to be happy, but they're not happy. They're miserable, okay? All they're doing is thinking about you. Like I said, they're carrying these burdens. They're going to keep carrying these burdens until they learn the lesson and they're able to release them, okay? Which is what we're all doing right now. Anyway, Collective Listen, that's what I've got for you for today.